Hey what's going on everybody I am Ant Pruitt and here in this video we're going to talk about how to remove plosives from your audio using Adobe Audition. If you don't know what a plosive is that is when you have a quick burst of air that comes out just as you enunciate certain letters of the alphabet such as P, B, or T and it will sound like a really really deep bass rumble inside of your mic. So a lot of times if you ever see a musical performer or a voice artist, they will have what they call pop filters in front of their microphones. And this is to help eliminate those plosives from happening. If you don't have a, a pop filter, there are certain techniques that you can use to eliminate or at least try to reduce the amount of plosives that you can have while speaking audio. But even still, if they happen, there are ways to fix it inside of Adobe Audition and it's really simple, really easy to do. Let's jump into Audition. Okay, inside of Adobe Audition, you can take a look at your audio file as a waveform. This top area here is the waveform. This bottom area is the spectral display. Maybe we'll get into that in another video. But right now, we're gonna focus more on the actual waveform up at the top. So right here, you notice that you have these peaks and valleys in your waveform, especially this one right here that is stand out at, standing out at the top at negative six decibels. I have a hunch that is a plosive. If we were to play it back, it will sound like a burst of air went through the mic. So let's just hit play. You hear it went with the P from proper, so it gave me a plosive. Even if you look down at the bottom with my levels monitor, you'll notice that the levels monitor will go from a green to a yellow to a red. That's another good strong indicator. See right here. See it turns red so it, it's definitely clipping right there. So that's my plosive and I want to get rid of that. So let's go ahead and jump in and get rid of this plosive. First tip Go ahead and zoom in on your timeline just by holding down your alt key and scrolling your mouse wheel. And that'll allow you to zoom in even tighter and closer on your waveform. So this gives us a better view of the actual plosive right here in this transit. Next, you just want to highlight this transit or highlight the plosive that is. Okay using the time selection tool. If you don't have that already activated, you can access the time selection tool just by hitting T on your keyboard. Now that you have this highlighted, go ahead and hop on over to your effects panel. Then go down to the filter and EQ option and then select FFT filter. In my case, I have it set up as a shortcut of shift and the number one. Now you notice the FFT filter has several different presets that will do a lot of different things. But the one that's gonna get rid of that plosive is the kill the mic rumble preset right here. All you have to do is click that. And if you hit apply, you'll notice that the, the waveform will change. So we just hit apply and it's done. You notice that plosive just disappeared. So when I play it back, it's a lot better. See, that's it. That is the fastest and most effective way to fix the plosives inside of your audio uh, when you use Adobe Audition. If you have any other Adobe Audition tips and tricks, feel free to leave those in the comment section down below. Thank you very much for watching.